So the other day, I decided to take on the Battle Tower. I thought it'd be fun. I was wrong. My friend Key passed me his team of three Pokemon, which consists of Lead Magnezone, with Sturdy and a Custab Berry. So basically, you pick up a KO, they bring you down to Sturdy, and you usually get one to one and a half to two KOs with this Pokemon, or a Thunder Wave. Dragon Dance Salamence, with Dragon Dance Earthquake, Outrage, and Iron Tail. And then just to be safe, a Wish Calm Mind Unaware Clefable, because the Battle Tower consists of a lot of boosting Pokemon, and with Unaware, I could ignore their boost and set up on my own, as well as having Wish to pass to my Pokemon. Because Key had easily hit 50 wins in a row with this team, I thought it'd be a piece of cake for me too. Looks kinda clean. The first battle went exactly as you'd expect. It was like taking candy from a baby. I fought school kid Cecilia, who had a Carvana, Mantike, and Venonat. Needless to say, Lead Magnezone absolutely destroyed. I actually felt bad during this battle. Yo. What's up, fam? Oh my god, uh, this poor child. <laughs> this poor child. Like, I just feel bad. The second battle was versus Tuber Amy. I thought this was gonna be an easy walk in the park, but little did I know, she was gonna become the biggest thorn in my side. Her first Pokemon was a ball toy, pretty easy, I probably shouldn't stay in with Magnezone, but because I was EV trained on this Magnezone, I figured I'd knock it out with Flash Cannon, and we were looking good, until she sent out her second Pokemon. So this Magnezone is Sturdy Custap Berry, so it typically gets up a KO and a half, is what Key told me. He just lead off with it and try and get it, oh my god! So if you couldn't tell, that's a Shedinja. Shedinja has the ability Wonder Guard, which means you can only hit it with super effective attacks. And none of my Pokemon had the ability to hit Shedinja. On top of that, I actually made a second mistake, and I decided to click Thunder Wave. Now typically, paralyzing a Pokemon to not only making your Pokemon faster than it, is a good play. Also, not giving them the chance to move is also a pretty good play because you can get off more attacks or actually get off more damage if your opponent cannot attack, right? However, my only way of beating this Shedinja was to completely PP stall it out of its attacks. And you know how hard that is to do when your opponent can get paralyzed whenever they're trying to attack? <sighs> Yo, I have to stall this guy out. Oh my god, I really have to stall him out. That's crazy. That's actually insane, dude. Oh, I gotta stall it out. <laughs> let me, let me tell Key. They have a Shedinja. I have to stall it. And it's like banded too. It's like banded Shedinja. Why did I have to run out to Shedinja as like my second Pokemon? So best case they just struggle. So I, I legitimately have to stall it. That's that's crazy. We just started the stream and I'm already doing things like this. So yes, I had to sit here with an unaware Clef versus Shedinja, and the fact that I was unaware made it even harder because my Salamence's Intimidate did not matter. And this Shedinja happened to be a choice man Shedinja, so it would always be pretty strong versus my Clefable. Luckily, I do have the combination of Wish, Protect, and Calm Mind, which all have a pretty decent amount of PP just to stall out that Shadow Claw. And what were the chances that that Shadow Claw was PP maxed anyway? Apparently, they're very high because my buddy Ralts Boy told me in the chat that yes, the Battle Tower likes to PP max their moves. Because me fighting for my battle points so I can do the same is fine, but my opponent 
tuber Amy can just pull up with this Shedinja, which she somehow caught in the middle of the water. I don't even understand how she caught this in the water. And she can bring it versus me. Now, normally, I'd run in this situation. I wouldn't really worry about Shedinja. It was battle number two of the run. It didn't really matter. However, I wasn't streaming on my channel. I was streaming on one of my sponsor's channels. And I didn't want to look like a quitter. This was absolutely the dumbest thing I have ever done. I should have just quit. And also, I paralyzed it thinking that would help me out. It probably won't. It'd probably make it harder. That's what I'm saying. The one Pokemon with one regard, dude. I'm saying, Shark. I'm just gonna get off more Intimidates. Even though Shadow Claw can crit, which would suck, but I think Clef can carry anyway. No, no, I never run. Heroes never run. We die. <laughs> so I proceeded to PP stall a Shadow Claw paralyzed Shedinja for 25 minutes. And let me tell you, it was absolutely terrible. Every single time I saw a full para, I was just heated. I w anger just filled me up and it was only my fault. I could only blame myself. But even after stalling it out of Shadow Claw, I wasn't out of the woods yet because unfortunately, very unfortunately, the trainer had the common sense to switch out when there was no more moves on Shadow Claw left and bring out their last Pokemon, which was Voltorb. It is PP Max. It is PP Max. Would somebody like to count how many it's gone for? Oh my god. This is the first one. This is the damn second battle in the singles. This is actually the second battle in the singles, bro. Okay, it's switched now, which means... Okay, it's switched now. It's cool. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. You know what? No, 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 no. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Actually, because if I have Magazone out, surely you'll never Metal Claw a four times resistance. There was still a problem. Shedinja was still in the back. Had I knocked out Voltorb with Clefable, Shedinja would have came out and went for Metal Claw, which has an absurd amount of PP. I want to give a big shout out to Ralts Boy, who let me be aware that Shedinja has Metal Claw. So I could only KO Voltorb with Magnezone, based on the logic that Magnezone is four times resistant to Metal Claw, so Shedinja surely wouldn't go for it versus me. So I'll KO it here. So all I have to do is allow it to knock itself out. I'm gonna stay in once. Good. Okay, we win. They crit me, but that's whatever. Oh, they didn't even crit me. That just killed. Oh, I'm screeched. Duh. We win, we win, we win. We did it. I had done it. I had made Shedinja lock itself into X Scissor instead of Metal Claw, which was a lot easier to PP stall out. At the end of the battle, it took 32 minutes just to beat Shedinja itself. I will go for all of my moves. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh my god, that took 32 minutes and 20 seconds. Flip flop, shut up! The remaining five trainers were incredibly easy and I ended up getting my first seven win streak. Alright, I finished. Congratulations, you've beaten all seven trainers. For your seven win streak, we present you with these battle points. You obtained three battle points. It took me 43 minutes and 13 seconds. To get three bat, I, I quit. That's actually it. It's over. I will not play this again. I got three battle points for this. So there you have it. I ended up quitting the battle tower because of my own stupidity. What do we learn today? Always bring a super effective move for Shedinja. Now enjoy some closing words from Key. Oh, dude, that, that, 
That inner tube girl is pretty good. Yeah, she, uh... She definitely... She definitely plays on Smogon. She had a couple tricks up her sleeve, I'd say. <laughs>